হ্যালো আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়েলকাম টু টুডেস লেসন বিগিনার্স ক্রাশে লেসন এইট ফর মানডে টু টুইসডে গ্রুপ দিস ইজ ফাহমিনা ইউ হোস্ট ফ্রম ফাহমিনাস ক্রিয়েশন ওয়েলকাম টু মাই লাইফ ক্রাশে লেসন So how are you all doing today? Today is going to be our very so last lesson. Today? today is going to be our very last lesson. So I'm going to be a little emotional, I guess, by the end of today's lesson, but I'll try to keep my emotion in. <laughs> so I can see Sister Farhana has just joined me. Thank you, Sister Farhana. How are you? Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome to today's lesson. Farhana is saying, wow, uh, that is so pretty. Thank you, Farhana. Alhamdulillah, can't complain. And how are you, Sister? Alhamdulillah, I'm good as well. Thank you for asking. So, uh, yeah, you can see in the screen now that this is a crochet corner to corner stitch. Um, and I've made a uh, rectangular shape. You can make it if you know the uh, today's lesson, if you learn in today's lesson how to crochet this, uh, the, this corner to corner stitch, you can make your scarf with it, your blanket, uh, bed spread, throw, all sorts of stuff with this um, technique. I'm just uh, waiting for all the students to join me today, like we always do. We'll start at uh, five past, and um, just uh, there's only three more minutes left, so we're going to wait for all of uh, you to join in today's last lesson, and then we'll start making this gorgeous corner to corner uh, scarf. I would say. Hi, hi Polly, hi Jabin, Salam, Alaikum, Salam, Poppy, Salam, Sister Poppy, how are you all doing? As Brother Daud has joined us, I think it's uh, someone else in his, this is, and then Sister Roshan has also joined us. Thank you all of you for joining and for confirming. Please uh, let me know as soon as you are here, just write down something in the comment box so that I know you are here, right? We're just going to wait for one more minute and then we'll start our class, inshallah. Salam, Sister Rihanna. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Sister Barbara, Barbara Ricky Baker, welcome to my um, online live crochet class. Uh, this is your first time, I guess. Hi from my little corner of Kentucky. Hello, Barbara. Thank you for joining us. This is a crochet lesson uh, class going on here. And uh, today we are going to make this gorgeous uh, uh, corner to corner stitch uh, crochet scarf sample. So I hope you'll enjoy 
watching us making it or you can join us and uh, start making as long as you've got your crochet hook and some yarn in front of you hmm, let's see who else is here i think sister rifna has not joined us yet yeah so and uh, most of you have already joined i think uh, rest of them are already here Yeah, I think we should start our class. Um, sister Barbara just said, watching, I have made C2C, but want to see how others change colors. Yeah, sure, sure, Barbara. Thank you for joining us and um, stay. Uh, this is a two hours lesson, so stay with us and I'm sure you'll enjoy making, uh, you'll enjoy us making this corner to corner stitch. So have you all got your crochet hook and uh, a yarn in, a bundle in front of you? Please let me know in the comment section if you have all got your crochet hook and uh, your um, yarn bundle in front of you so that we can begin our today's lesson. For this tutorial, I'm using a crochet hook size 5. Not sure if you can see it, but it's a crochet hook size 5. And I will need yarn and some yarn bundles. I'm using um, this green and white colors today. And I'm going to alternate the colors in every three rows. But you can do that. You can do it in every row. Every single row you can change uh, the color of your yarn. That will look even more, you know, the color will look even more vibrant. And our uh, project will start from this corner and it will finish in this corner. So it'll be, this is why it's called corner to corner stitch because we start from a corner and then just go all the way like this. And in the middle, uh, we keep increasing our project and in the middle we stop increasing and then we just uh, carry on filling up uh, the remaining rows to make, give it a square or rectangle shapes. So you can make it longer, you can make it shorter. I'm going to tell you how you can achieve that. So I think Sister Farhana has got her, uh, has all the instruments in front of her, that's good. Okay, I think most of you are ready now. So that's great news. So let's start with our corner to corner stitch. So to begin, like any other project, we'll start by doing our slip knot. Yeah. And to create a slip knot, we are going to put our uh, short end of our, our uh, yarn uh, in the right hand side. I will, we are going to hold the short end of the yarn strand like this in our right hand side and the, in the left hand side index finger we are going to wrap the yarn around twice so this is the first time this is the second time okay and then this is our back loop and this is the front loop now we're going to put the back loop in front of the front loop okay now this is the new back loop this is the new front loop yeah so now for one more time we're going to put our back loop in front of the front loop okay now this is our back loop and this is the front loop for this back loop we are going to pull it out of our index finger and all the way out and start tightening the slip knot uh, while you are still uh, also uh, pulling both strands of your yarn with your 
left hand side okay and that's it this is your slip knot now uh, we are going to put our crochet hook through the slip knot and adjust it like this not too tight that we can't even move it around the crochet hook yes so now we are going to start uh, doing chain spaces this is again our uh, very basic steps that we always do base uh, steps slip knot and chain spaces and so we are going to crochet uh, six chain spaces okay to create a chain space wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and pull through that's your first chain space you just have to repeat these steps for six times all to together so that's third uh, chain space fourth fifth and sixth so this is my sixth chain space is done now we'll start crocheting row one okay so are you all ready to start crocheting your row one i think you are so you are really quick at picking up new skills and learning new techniques and uh, alhamdulillah i'm very happy with your progress okay sister farhana is ready uh, bina is ready okay i think uh, most of you are ready by now all right thank you for letting me know mm -hmm. so now we'll start our uh, first row let me just count my stitches uh, chains one more time one two three four five six yes i've done four six now what we are going to do is that we are going to count fourth chain space from our crochet hook so we have to go to the fourth chain space from our crochet hook and there we are going to create a, um, a double crochet okay salam ibn walikum assalam Ammu, thank you for joining me so that's uh, my this is a loop this is not my first chain space this is where my chain space is uh, starting so one two three and four this is the fourth chain space right so now from there i have to crochet double crochet stitch there in in that fourth chain space so i'm going to wrap the end around my crochet hook put my crochet hook through that chain space wrap the end around again and pull up a loop so I've got three loops in my crochet hook, right? And I'm going to wrap the yarn around my crochet hook again and pull up only, pull through only first two loops, okay? I have still got two more loops left in my crochet hook. So I'm going to wrap the yarn around again and pull through the remaining two loops. So that's my first double crochet. Now there's two more uh, chain spaces left and I'm going to crochet two more uh, double crochet there, right? One double crochet in each chain space. So just wrap the yarn around, go to the next chain space, pull up a loop, wrap the yarn around, pull through first two and wrap the yarn around, pull through next two loops. Repeat these steps one more time, wrap the yarn around, go to the last chain space, Wrap the yarn around again and pull up a loop. Three loops in your crochet hook. Wrap the yarn around, pull through first two. Wrap the yarn around, pull through last two loops. And this is your first row done. That's how easy it is. And one positive thing about the corner to corner stitch that it fills up the project very quickly. So you can make a, a, a big project, comparatively big project very quickly okay sister bina has just confirmed she has finished doing her row one thank you for letting me know sister bina i'm going to wait uh, for the rest of you and then we'll start Alright, I think most of you have finished doing it, so let's start with row 2. 
to start row two this was our uh, row one and we uh, just worked our way from, from here to there right now we're going to turn our work around okay like this it was like this before so we have just turned our work around and we'll start doing our row two to crochet row two we'll start by doing chain six again okay so wrap the yarn around and pull through that's your first chain space wrap the yarn around and pull through second third fourth fifth and sixth so this is our six chain spaces done and basically what we have done in row one we are just going to repeat it in row two so we are going to go to the fourth chain space from our crochet hook this is one two three and four this is the fourth chain space so wrap the end around and go to the fourth chain space and pull up a loop three loops in a crochet hook wrap the yarn around pull through first two wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops right now we'll just go to the next chain space and crochet a double crochet stitch again the next stitch now next chain space and another double crochet so together we have done three chain spaces and three double crochet in three chains uh, in the next three chain spaces okay so that's done now just put your uh, uh, project uh, row the first square i'm going to call this and uh, these uh, three chain spaces and three double crochet a uh, square from now on yes so every time i mention square you know what i meant so this square bring it like this so it's, it's not attached to it row one isn't it so we need to attach it so that our project uh, look like the same project so this was for row one and this is the row two and there's no space in between is, is there any um, gap there's none so we need to fill up this gap that we are having at the moment to fill this up we are going to put our crochet hook through the you know first three chain spaces can you re do you remember we crocheted six chain spaces and the in the first three chain spaces we haven't done anything and from the fourth chain spaces we have crocheted the three double crochets okay so this three chain space uh, is still there and there's a gap in between the double crochet, first double crochet and the three chain spaces. So we're going to put our crochet hook through that space like that and uh, create a slip stitch. So we're going to wrap the yarn around our crochet hook once and pull it through. And that's our slip stitch done. Okay, so have you all got it? Or you want me to show you one more time please let me know in the comments section okay if you haven't got it uh, then i'm going to explain it to you again so please let me know So I think most of you have got it so uh, thanks for letting me know so I can move on uh, to the next stitch from row two okay we are not quite done yet with row two uh, sister Farhan I haven't heard anything from you lately are you okay are you managing to create your crochet uh, are you managing uh, the understanding the explanation that I'm giving you please let me know in the comment section okay all right then so let's start uh, with the second uh, square of row two so with each increasing row we are going to add one more square okay so in our first do the stitches face different ways when you join them yes they face different ways you're right we turned our work around to start crocheting row two there's no right or wrong side sister with each row you know this is this is the back side this is the front side um, uh, like this so there's no right side or wrong side okay so with each um, changing row we are going to turn our work uh, around and start the next row from the opposite side okay 
so you were right the past row would look uh, opposite so uh, let's start the next uh, uh, square and to start that we will start by doing three chain spaces that's my first chain space second chain space and third chain space we are still in the uh, we are still uh, in the row two okay and in row two we are going to crochet two double crochet so we started the we, we are going to crochet two square and uh, we have already uh, crocheted one square and this is where we are going to crochet our second square okay and we have already started doing that we have started with three chain spaces now we need to crochet three double crochet in the same chain uh, same space where we just joined our first square okay so we are going to go uh, wrap the yarn around go to that space and pull up a loop go three loops in your crochet hook wrap the yarn around pull through first two and wrap the yarn around again and pull through the next two loops okay so that's your first double crochet we need to crochet uh, two more double crochet stitch okay in this same space two one more to go and this was my third double crochet and that's it you finish crocheting your row two okay so this is how it looks like at, by the end of row two we started with one square and in row two we've got three square with each increasing row we are going to have uh, one more row uh, one more square added okay have you all got it let me know in the comment section yeah i think you did all right uh, let's move to row three then okay now we are going to turn our work around again like this and we'll start row three just checking the comment section uh, just checking if you have got any question about it or not okay looks like you've all got it so which is great this is a big project so we'll try to move on quickly okay all right so let's start our row three i have just turned uh, this is how we are uh, doing our work row two from right side to left side now turn my work around and i'm going to start row three row three we are going to start the same way we are going to crochet six chain spaces so to create a chain space wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and pull through wrap the yarn around and pull through the second third fourth fifth and sixth so we've got six double six chain spaces okay now what we need to do is that we need to go to the fourth chain space from our crochet hook so that's one two three and four this is the fourth chain space we need to go there wrap down around and crochet a uh, double crochet right in the fourth chain space from our um, crochet hook so wrap the yarn around go to the fourth chain space and pull up a loop you've got three loops in your crochet hook wrap the yarn around pull through first two wrap the yarn around and pull through last two one double crochet done you can see there's two more chain spaces there so we need to crochet two more double crochet okay i got a delayed feed so i'm a little behind you all it's okay sister parhana if you want me to explain anything to you please let me know Mm. okay do you want me to wait for uh, you do you want me to explain anything to you or is it clear basically 
Sister Yasmin has just joined us. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Sister Yasmin, it's so good to see you. Thank you uh, for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you for your support. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and start joining this fast uh, uh, square with the three chain spaces from previous row. Okay. If you, any of you haven't got it, please let me know in the comment section. I'm more than happy to explain it to you. Okay. So I've just joined it, the square shape with the three chain space from previous row. Basically, we are going to repeat the same steps again and again and again. There's nothing, it's very easy steps. There's nothing too complex here. So we will start with six chain spaces. Then we crochet, uh, three uh, double crochet uh, from four chain spaces. And then we join it with the three chain spaces uh, from previous row. And then we crochet in the middle uh, squares in all the middle squares we crochet three uh, st we start the squares with three chain spaces and then we crochet three more double crochet okay crochet three more double crochet that's first that's second double crochet and that is the third double crochet okay so that means our second square from row three is done and in this uh, row we are going to crochet uh, three squares with as i told you already that with each increasing row we are going to have one more squares okay now we have to join this square with the uh, three chain spaces from previous row right so go to the three chain spaces uh, next and that is next uh, to your um, that is close to your square just go there and attach attach your square with a slip stitch okay using a slip stitch technique okay so now it's attached and now here we are going to crochet one more square that means we will have to start with three chain spaces that's one that's two chain space and that's my third chain spaces now what do you have to do uh, it's the same like before we have to crochet three double crochet in this same chain uh, th same space okay so wrap the end around go to that chain space and pull up a loop you've got three loops in your crochet hook wrap the end around pull through first two wrap the end around and pull through last two loops just go ahead and do that one more time. Sorry, two more times. So that's my second double crochet. I need to crochet another double crochet to finish off this square. So basically that's it. You have learned all the techniques that you need to increase uh, your um, corner to corner, corner to corner project, okay? But you have got to know how to stop increasing because at some point it would be too long worth wise it it will be enough that you don't want to make it anymore uh, you know wide okay so we are going to i'm going to show it to you in uh, after doing few more rows of increase okay and I, as i told you at um, the third uh, row i'm going to change the color so now I'm going to show you how you can change the color, how you can um, join a new color to your project, okay? So I'm going to wrap the end around my crochet hook once and do a chain spaces to secure my work basically. So I have secured my work and now I'm just going to cut the yarn thread, okay? Just like this. So that's it. I've separated my project from the yarn strand now now i'm ready to use a new color okay new yarn strand okay and i'm going to turn my work around okay like we always do with each increasing row and what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to put my crochet hook through the first very fast chain space like this put my crochet hook through and get a loop from from the new 
yarn strand okay and just join them both Math and I see it is Najim sir. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum sir. Thank you for joining Najim bhai. Uh, how are you? This is a crochet uh, lesson going on. Thank you for joining and thank you for your support. Okay. So now I have joined uh, the new color. Okay. With my project. Are you all with me? Please let me know in the comment section if you have got any question. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, because this is a new color, I'm just going to get a loop in my crochet hook. To do that, I'm going to put my crochet hook uh, through that chain space, same chain space where I just tied my new color um, and then just get a loop. Basically, just pull up a loop. Okay. So now you have got a loop in your crochet hook. So, and now start uh, like as usual, um, your row, uh, to begin our row, we always crochet six chain spaces, okay? So start uh, crocheting six chain spaces to uh, begin your row four, okay? So wrap the end around and pull up a loop. This is your first chain space, second, third, fourth, and sixth that's your sixth chain spaces okay now uh, what do you do next we uh, count four chain spaces from our crochet hook right so that's one two three and four this is the fourth chain space wrap the yarn around and go to that fourth chain space and do a double crochet stitch okay so wrap the yarn around again and pull up a loop you got three loops in your crochet hook, wrap the yarn around and pull through first two, wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops. That's your first double crochet for this row. All right, now got two more chain spaces here. So I'm just going to go ahead and crochet two more double crochet there, okay? So that's another double crochet. Now we have to go to the last chain space and do another crochet, another double crochet, okay? So that's my first square from row four is done, right? Now, just I have to attach it with previous row, right? And have you noticed while I am um, doing my crochet, when, while I am carrying on my crochet stitches, I am also um, hiding, weaving this uh, short end of the yarn strand uh, you can do it later after you finish your project but i like to do it uh, as i go along it saves time so to do that to tie it with my project what i'm while i'm still doing my project what i do um we have to go to the just go and do your uh, work as usual do your stitches as well but as usual but try to put them in between so that it gets attached with your uh, new stitches and it doesn't show up hides away from our side okay so uh, here in the previous rows three chain space and double crochet uh, and this is the double crochet right and in between uh, this there's this gap here where we have to uh, crochet uh, where we have to attach our first row right first square so I'm going to put my crochet hook through that space and uh, do a slip stitch. So that's my slip stitch done. Now we can start our second uh, square of row four here in this same space. So after this slip stitch, we have to crochet three chain spaces, right? So wrap the yarn around and pull through. Wrap the yarn around, pull through. Wrap the yarn around and pull through three, loop, uh, three chain spaces, okay? Now I have to crochet three double crochet in this space, okay? So wrap the yarn around, go to that chain same space and pull up a loop. You've got three loops in your crochet hook. So wrap the yarn around, pull through first two, wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops. So that's my first double crochet done. I have to crochet for 
two more times i have to crochet two more double crochet in this same space because this is our our and a square consists of three chain spaces and three double crochet okay so that's why you have to crochet three double crochet so i'm done with my double crochet uh, three double crochet row and i'm done with my second square of row four now i can move to the next square from previous row and i can join my square with that okay with a slip stitch so i've just joined my square now i have to start doing start uh, crocheting my uh, third square of this row okay and i'll begin my third square by crocheting three chain spaces so wrap the yarn around pull through wrap the yarn around and pull through wrap the yarn around and pull through that's your three chain spaces now just go ahead and crochet three double crochet in this tiny little space okay so to create uh, double crochet wrap the yarn around your crochet hook put your crochet hook through and pull up a loop three loops in your crochet hook wrap the yarn around and pull through first two wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops okay just go ahead and repeat these steps and crochet two more double crochet in this same space can you uh, see uh, that with each increasing row we are having one more squares now right uh, we started with only one square then in row two we had two uh, squares in row three we had three squares and in row four there's one more squares added with our project so we are going to have four squares on in total okay so i've finished crocheting three squares now just have to crochet one more so put your crochet hook through the next uh, chain uh, space and uh, create a slip stitch okay now just go ahead as usual and crochet a square and our square consists of three chain spaces and three uh, double crochet so wrap the yarn around pull through that's your first chain space just repeat these steps for two more times that's your three chain space spaces so now uh, we have to crochet three double crochet here so wrap the yarn around your crochet hook go to that same chain space and pull up a loop three loops in your crochet hook wrap the yarn around pull through first two wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops okay first double crochet we need to crochet two more times okay so that's my second double crochet now this is my third double crochet and this is the end of row four okay now i'm just going to pause it uh, pause a bit here and uh, check how all of you are getting on okay and i don't want you to fall behind i want you to um, do your uh, work properly and if i go too fast you might not get it okay so i'm just going to wait i'm going to check in the comment sections who has uh, messaged me uh, if, if so let me know in the comment section if you have got any question for me or you want me to slow down a bit <laughs> okay Just reading all your comments i don't see any questions so far so it looks like you have all got it which is very good well done all of you but if you have got any question for me just go ahead and ask away
all right then i don't see any questions so far so i think you have all got it you have all managed to crochet row four successfully so we can move to row five in row five as well we are only going to do uh, increases okay to so to start row five this is uh, this was the end of row four now just turn your work around like this and start crocheting your row five and to begin our row five we'll start with six chain spaces right so wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and pull through that's your first chain space wrap the yarn around pull through wrap the yarn around pull through three four five and six that's your sixth uh, chain spaces okay one two three four five six six chain spaces now i'm going to go and find the fourth chain spaces from my crochet hook so that's one two three and this is the fourth right now i have to crochet a double crochet there so wrap the end around your crochet hook go to that fourth chain space from your crochet hook wrap the end around and pull up a loop now you've got three loops in your crochet hook wrap the end around pull through first two wrap the end around and pull through the last two loops okay now you have still got two more chains left and so we have to crochet two more double crochet there so wrap the yarn around your crochet hook go to the next chain space and pull up a loop you got three loops in your crochet hook wrap the yarn around pull through first two wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops now just repeat these steps for one more time and go by after going to the next chain space okay you can see sister rahima has just joined me assalamu alaikum sister don't worry at all thank you for joining me and thank you for your support I appreciate all right then so we have done our uh, first square of row five now we have to join it like this okay with the previous rows uh, gap uh, in between three chain spaces and the uh, double crochet okay so just put your crochet hook through there wrap the end around and pull through and just pull through to the loop as well so this is a slip stitch technique and we have joined our first square with this using the slip stitch technique right now what we have to do is that we have to start our row as uh, we have to start our square as usual and start crushing three chain spaces like we always do we always start our squares with three chain spaces except the first one the first uh, the, uh, the beginning of every row the steps are a bit different and after that you just uh, follow the same steps uh, for each square so we got three chain spaces now i have to crochet three double crochet in the same chain spaces okay please be active in the comment section and let me know if you have got any question if i don't hear from you i feel like you're not getting it and maybe i have to repeat it again and again maybe um, i'm not explaining it to you very well so uh, let me know in the comment section So I've done my three double crochet and this is the third square of row five just going to attach it the next space love you too sister Rahima thank you for all your love I'm just going to attach it with the last space okay 
and just do your squares as well start with three chain spaces and then crochet three double crochet so i'm done with row five here i'm just going to wait for all of you i'm going to check if you have all got it please let me know in the comment section again if you have got any questions so far about the um, steps um, of the uh, about this corner to corner stitch okay so i'm just waiting for your response and uh, also just don't want to go too fast so that you you can't you know keep it up but i'm quite happy with you so far um overall with the progress um you know there were uh, not a single day when uh, i have explain to you a project and you haven't got it you have always um, managed to do your project you have always fin finished your project and uh, sent me the picture of, uh, uh, of your finished project so that's uh, well done all of you okay i can't see any questions so far that means you have all got it right or am i missing something now there's no question right okay then and sister tani said go ahead okay sister tani thank you for uh, confirming that so i can go ahead now so I'll start row six now and to begin, I will turn my work around and we'll start doing my uh, row six from this side. And to begin, we'll start uh, crochet uh, six chain spaces, okay? So wrap the end around and pull through, that's your first chain space. So just go ahead and keep crocheting, keep doing your six chain spaces in total, that's third fourth, fifth, and sixth. That's my sixth chain spaces. Now I'm going to go and find my six, uh, fourth chain spaces from uh, my hook. So this is my loop and this is my first chain space. That's first, second, third, and fourth. This is my fourth chain space. So I'm going to go there, wrap the yarn around, and go to the fourth chain space and pull up a loop. I've got three loops in my crochet hook. So wrap the yarn around, pull through first two, wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two. So that's my first double crochet, okay? Now I just have to repeat these steps for two more times and I need to crochet the two more double crochet to finish off this square, first square of row six. So that's my row six done. Now I'm just going to attach it with this space in between three chain spaces and double crochet using a slip stitch technique. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to go ahead and start crocheting my second square of row six. So wrap the yarn around and pull up a loop. That's your first chain spaces. Wrap the yarn around, pull up a loop. That's your second, third, fourth, and fifth. So that's your, uh, sorry, why am I doing fifth? I only need to do three. Okay, so I've got uh, three chain spaces, one, two, three. And now I can go ahead and crochet three more double crochet in this same chain space, okay? The same space. So wrap the yarn around, Go to that space and pull up a loop. Wrap the yarn around, pull through first two. Wrap the yarn around and pull through the next two. Just go ahead and do that. So that's 
second double crochet and that's my third double crochet okay now I'm just going to go ahead and attach it with the, the next space that is available next three chain spaces uh, so I've done that and now I can start crocheting my uh, third square of this row okay start with three chain spaces and followed by three double crochet join it at the next space available and just go ahead and crochet another square there Now I'm at the last, very last square of this row. And just start doing three chain spaces followed by three double crochet. That's your uh, steps for one square, one square like that. This is only one square. that's me done with row six now i'm going to change the color again because i said with each uh, row we, uh, i said with every uh, third row i'm going to change the colors so i had three rows of green then three rows of uh, white now i'm just going to change the color but before i can do that i have to crochet do a chain one space so that i can tie my work like this and it won't untangle anymore right cut the yarn so that you can attach the new color so this is how it looks like so far and this is where we are actually you've got a long way to go <laughs> right Now I'm going to attach the new color again, not new color, I'm just uh, alternating these two colors, green and white. Just alternating these two colors. So I'm just going to use green again and I will start my row uh, 7 now, okay? I think I'm not going to make the project the same size like this maybe a little bit smaller because it's already one hour gone past okay but we, we are going to add few more few more rows okay and then we'll start doing our decreases so this was the sixth uh, row now i'm going to start uh, row seven and i'm going to turn my work around to start doing row seven okay and I'll put my crochet hook through the first chain space here and pull up a loop like this. Now I'm just going to attach, I'm just going to tie it like this. So it's attached with my 
existing project and I'm ready to start crocheting my roll seven, okay? And to start, I need to have a uh, loop in my crochet hook. We always have a loop and then we uh, carry on doing our work from there. So to get a loop from in your uh, crochet hook, just put the crochet hook through that same chain space where you just tied that uh, new yarn strand and just get a loop like this. Just pull up a loop. That's your loop in your crochet hook now. Now you are ready to start uh, your row seven. And we start any row with six chain spaces, right? So wrap the yarn around and pull up a loop. That's your first chain space. Just go ahead and crochet six chain spaces. That's third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. That's my six chain spaces done. And I'm sure all of you know by now what we have to do next. Yes, you are right. We have to find the fourth chain space. Tani, you are right. We have to find the fourth chain space. So that's one, two, three, and four. This is the fourth chain space. So we have to go find that fourth chain space and uh, start crocheting, double crochet. So wrap the end around, go to that fourth chain space. One, two, that's my fourth chain. One, two, three, four. That's my fourth chain space. Right? So I have to start crocheting, double crochet there. In the fourth chain space. I just pulled up a loop. Now wrap the yarn around, pull through first two loops, and wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops. That's my first double crochet of row seven. Right. So just go ahead and crochet two more double crochet in the next two chain spaces. One double crochet in each chain space, okay? So we begin our rows with six chain spaces. And then from four chain spaces, we crochet uh, three uh, double crochet from the next for the next uh, three chain spaces and then we join it with the previous rows three chain space uh, space and then uh, from in all the middle ones and from the uh, after the first very first square we just chain three chain spaces not six like the first one and just crochet three double crochet in the same space where we attached our uh, square okay and we follow this till the end of our row so that's it this is very simple and easy steps and we uh, follow it throughout not throughout our project we follow it till we need to increase our project okay is still increasing but uh, soon i'm going to show you how to uh, stop increasing and also how to decrease because we need to fill this space now it's, it looks like a triangular shape and we need to give it a rectangle or uh, square shape okay if you are up for a triangular uh, you know scarf you can just go ahead and keep uh, crocheting, keep increasing the rows. Uh, that's not a bad idea, actually. It just appeared to me right now while I was explaining it to you. Uh, so that uh, is not a good. Uh, that is also a good idea to just uh, go ahead and um, keep doing your increases, and um, you can make a triangular shawl or a scarf for yourself just by using this technique So we are just uh, doing as usual our uh, increases and we're just adding uh, 
uh, squares with each increasing row and uh, in this row we are going to have uh, seven squares as it is the seventh row. come to the very last uh, very last square of this row still doing as is all three chain spaces and three double crochet okay to increase our project so that's the end of row seven this is how our project looks like at the end of row seven so now i'm going to wait for all of you to finish off this row and because from the next row i'm going to show you how to decrease one side only so for example you are satisfied with the length of your project uh, sorry the width of your project so this can be a, the this uh, web that we are having now this uh, can it, it can oil this or it can, it can be for a kid's scarf that will make the web that we have now this will make a, a good web for a, a, a kid's a scarf okay so as we are satisfied with the width uh, but for a scarf or maybe for your other projects, you might need to increase uh, your length more because in you know, a scarf, you have to, uh, it has to go around your uh, neck. So the length wise, it has to be long enough so that you can wrap it around your neck. But with, you can't make it too long, too wide, then it don't fit. Okay, so I'm just, uh, making a sample here so i've showed you how to increase how to do corner to corner crochet stitch and how to increase so far and we have done seven rows of increase so here uh, from eighth row i want to show you how to stop incre uh, increasing from one side while the other side will still be increasing. So we are satisfied with the width. So from now on, we are not going to increase any more from this side, uh, from here to there. It won't go there. It will stay. It will stay the same. Like we'll go from here next in the next row. But lengthwise, uh, we want it to be longer. We're not square satisfied because we're not making a square shape. We are making a rectangular shape. We are trying to make a scarf, say for example. Uh, so we need a very long length. So I'm yeah. going to show you how we can just uh, uh, stop increasing from one side and while still increase the other side of your project, okay? And we'll do it for next few rows and after that, I'll show you how you can stop increasing from both sides, okay? And this is, uh, just remember, this is a sample size, okay? This is not, this can't, it, it don't fit your uh, kid's uh, neck or your, so this is just a sample that I'm showing and to inform you, to teach you all the steps, all the stitches, all the techniques that you will need to um, make your pro whole project because a, sc a scarf is quite lengthy project um, and it uh, it we won't be able to fit it in two hours time slot, okay? This is why I'm only showing you the sample of it. When you will know how to increase, how to add more rows, how to uh, make your project longer or shorter, or how to stop increasing widthwise while still increase lengthwise, then um, you can go ahead and do it yourself. You can make any project um, out of this uh, corner to corner stitch. Yes.
so from this row in row 8 i'm not going to do any more increase from this side but i'll still increase from this this side okay so let's turn our work around to start row 8 i'm just going to wait here for a few more seconds to check if you have all um, managed to finish your row 8 uh, sorry row 7 so far so that we can uh, move to row 8 um, together Okay, I don't want anybody to fall behind. Yeah. Just reading all your comments now. Okay, I think all of you have managed to uh, crochet so far. So now we can move to row eight. And here we are going to uh, stop increasing with twice, but we'll still increase lengthwise, okay? So now we'll start our row eight by crocheting uh, six chain spaces. So wrap the end around your crochet hook and pull through. That's your first chain space just uh, go ahead and repeat these steps for five more times one two three four five and six that's your sixth chain spaces done now what we have to do you have to go to sorry uh, oh, 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 i shouldn't have done that because we are, i'm going to show you how to decrease right so take if you have already done your six chain spaces please um, untangle it and uh, we are not doing any more increases here sorry um about that so now uh, if we don't do the six chain spaces okay and instead we do slip stitches for the next few chains and from here if we can move to there here in this space using the slip stitch technique then we can avoid increasing from this side okay then we'll start crocheting our squares from this side and this will give it a nice bracket okay so we'll give it a nice finishing line here so let's do that don't uh, crochet six chain spaces as we always do to start our uh, new row but from now on we are only going to do start our new row by crocheting slip stitch so this is your next chain space right so to create the slip stitch and how to move from this side to that side i'm going to show it to you now so put your crochet hook through that chain space next chain space that you have in front of you and wrap the end around pull up a loop and pull this loop through the loop that you have in your crochet hook so that's how you move from one place to other using a slip stitch technique okay now move to the next chain space and do a slip stitch again okay so we moved from here to there now we have moved from here there to the next 
okay space okay now i think we need to just do it one more time one more slip stitch and then we will reach to the space this three chain space and uh, the space in between three chain spaces and three double crochet okay here now here from here uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, uh, crochet our squares like we do usually we start with three chain spaces so wrap the end around and pull through this is a fast chain space so just uh, repeat this just for two more times three chain spaces okay now wrap the end around go to that same chain space and start crocheting your double crochet steps uh, st uh, double crochet stitch okay like for three times so that was my first double crochet now this is the second double crochet and this is the third double crochet so we've done our three double crochet after uh, the three chain spaces okay now what we have to do is that we need to attach it with the next three chain spaces available okay from now on all the other steps will be the same okay and can you see as we have on done our six chain spaces we have managed to stop increasing from this side okay if we would have done our three chain spaces our project would have gone here it would have started from here so we, by uh, stop doing that we have managed to stop increasing from this side okay we're going to take this as our width and now we will st and go ahead and uh, increase the length okay because we are not uh, just going to st stop uh, the length with wide uh, increase just now okay i really enjoy your sewing and for your kindly showing it oh thank you sister rahima thank you so much uh, that you enjoy my work just trying to uh, pass my skills to others that's all if someone's get benefited from it so i will be more than happy okay so just go ahead and create your squares and start with three chain spaces and followed by three double crochet So second last uh, double uh, second last square of this row now this is the last last uh, square right and we'll just go ahead and do our easel steps three to chain spaces followed by three double crochet okay and we are not crochet we are not doing and uh, we are not stopping to increase uh, from this side only from the other side we are doing our we are we have stopped our increase so this side we are still increasing can you see this side got a bit longer now it's not uh, before it was like almost like so shape now it's not this width is shorter than the length okay 
and we also we want to achieve it because not all the project are square shapes okay if you want to make a square shape you can just stop increasing um, when you start increasing from this side you stop increasing from this side as well you just don't crochet your very last uh, square you just uh, attach the second last square with the chain spaces and that's it you don't uh, uh, go ahead and uh, create this last uh, last square and this is how you can stop uh, increasing from this side as well okay so now we haven't done increases so far i'm just going to show you one more time how not to increase um, how not to increase uh, widthwise but still increase lengthwise okay so from this side i'm going to turn my work around now to start my new row okay and this is going to be my ninth row and here i'll start as usual because this side we are still increasing okay do you remember only that side we stopped increasing so we'll still increase from this side and so we will start our row with six chain spaces okay so start uh, crocheting your six chain spaces wrap the yarn around your crochet hoop and pull through wrap the yarn around pull through so just repeat these steps for six times one two three four five six okay that's fine so i've done six uh, chain spaces now i need to go find the fourth chain space from the crochet hook so that's one two three and four so i need to go find that and now i have to crochet uh, double crochet there so wrap the yarn around your crochet hook and put your crochet hook through that chain space and pull up a loop you got three loops in your crochet hook wrap the yarn around pull through first two Wrap the yarn around and pull through last two loops. Okay. Now just go ahead and crochet, chain, uh, double crochet in the next two chain spaces. Okay. That was my first chain, uh, first square. We're still doing increase lengthwise. And now just go ahead and uh, carry on creating your squares as is. I'll start with three chain space and followed by three double crochet. Just doing my, uh, just carrying on crocheting my squares as usual. Nothing new here, no new uh, steps, no new techniques. It's just the same like before. Three chain spaces followed by three double crochet.
Purobi Nawaj. That's a nice name, sister. Purobi. Lovely name. Sister Rahima is still here showing her love to us. Thank you, Sister Rahima, for your continuous love. So now we have come to the point, come to the side where we have stopped doing our increases, right? So now we are just going to put our crochet hook through and create a slip stitch. And that's it. We are not going to create another, another square here, okay? Because we don't want to do any more increases from this side. So just turn our work around now to start the new row but i have to change the color again because this was my ninth row so to change the color just uh, do a chain one space and tie tighten your project so now cut your yarn and add the new yarn color To start uh, adding this new color, I'm turning my work around, okay? And as I'm not doing any increases in this side, you know, usually when we don't want to increase in uh, at the beginning of a, in a row, we just create slip, slip knot from here, then we go uh, slip stitch from here, then we move to this place, and we do sl three slip stitch to move from here to there. But as I have, I'm changing the color, I don't need to move, I don't need to add the color here. I can just go ahead and move, put my new color strand, attach my new color strand here. And so that I don't have to do this slip stitch here. But if you are doing this slip stitch, as if you are not changing the color and you are um, not doing any more increases from this side then you will finish your row here and from there you have to do three slip stitch to move from here to there okay have you got it i hope so so now i'm, I'm not doing it because i have just changed the color so i can just attach my new yarn here and start doing my squares from here from this side Okay, and now I'm not doing any increases from this side, so we'll just go ahead and crochet um, the squares as we do in the middle, yes? So we'll start with three chain spaces. So that's one, two, and three. Three chain spaces to start our uh, square, then we'll uh, crochet three double crochet in this same space okay so put your wrap the yarn around and put your crochet hook through and pull up a loop can you see well i'm doing my stitches i'm also weaving these loose ends in my stitches okay so that it uh, becomes invisible i don't want it hanging around one it doesn't look nice and two it uh, uh, it uh, makes my work harder when I'm trying to crochet. Okay, so that's my first square done. Now I just I'm just going to move to the next square and tie with a slip stitch. Okay, now I'm ready to start my next square, and I will start with three chain spaces, followed by three double crochet. So just go ahead and keep crocheting till the end here because I'm going to now I'm going to show you here how we can stop uh, increasing from this side okay so just go ahead and uh, create your uh, crochet your squares 
middle squares and at the end of this row I'm going to show you how to stop increasing lengthwise. So I've come to the very last uh, stitches of this row. So this is the final uh, uh, square. I'm going to attach it with this three chain spaces, okay? And usually if I was going to create, uh, do more increases, if you want to do more increases lengthwise, you will crochet three, uh, you will crochet another square here which is a uh, square means uh, three double three chain spaces followed by three double crochet in this same space. But um, now I'm going to show you how you can stop increasing. So I'm not going to um, crochet the last square here. I'm, I have just created a slip stitch and joined this uh, square with this new three chain spaces and that's it. I'm done with my um, Tenth row. I'm just going to turn my work around now to start crocheting row 11. Okay, so now we are at the beginning of row and we are um, not and we are not doing any increases this side. So what I have to do, I am going to create three slip stitches. So wrap the, put your crochet hook to the next chain space, wrap the end around and pull through that's your first slip stitch so now you move from here to there now you have to move here to the next one and you have to move uh, here so this is your target okay and this is where you want to reach but you can't just jump from here to there uh, this won't look nice and these stitches won't look nice so this is where why we are just uh, crushing slip stitches and just moving from one chain space to the other and to tell you need to crochet three slip stitches so i am here now now i can crush start crocheting my usual um, square okay so i'll start with three chain spaces one two and three now i'm going to uh, crochet three more double crochet in the same chain space that's my first double crochet now this is my second double crochet and this is my third double crochet now i'm going to attach it to the next now i'm going to start in my next uh, square as usual so from now on you are just going to crochet as usual um, you do your all the usual steps all the usual stitches for your uh, square
have come towards the end of this row. When we stop decreasing with each increasing row, we'll have to crochet less and less squares, okay? So in this row, if you notice, we have only crocheted one, two, three, four, five. And the next one we have to do four. And this way we will fill up our um, shape rectangle shape okay now come to the last stitch now we are just going to join it with the next three chain spaces as we are not doing any increases we are not going to crochet any more uh, square here instead we are just going to turn our work around and start with next row this is going to be row 12 for our project for our sample and i'll start with slip stitch three slip stitch to move from this corner to that three chain space okay so bridge there now i am going to start doing my uh, square regular squares okay and to begin my square i'll put i will uh, crochet three chain spaces and followed by three double crochet in the same space Sister Rahima is conversing with my mom. <laughs> Good to hear that you two got along nicely. I think I've told you all yesterday that my mom is to crochet as well. And growing up, we wore cardigans and scarves and a hat made by her. That's it. We have done our last uh, square of this row and here we have only done four squares. So with each increasing row now, we after you stop increasing uh, from that, uh, after th that increase, uh, when you stop increasing every other row, you will have a, a one less square in each row. Before when you were increasing with each increasing row, you were having one more square but now it's going to be the opposite once you stop increasing your project okay now it's the 12th row and i'm going to change the color now and i did a chain one to tighten secure my project okay now i've just done my work brown and again as i've just changed the color i won't have to do the slip stitch as uh, for three slip stitches to move from this side to this three chain space uh, i can instead i can just attach my um, yarn thread uh, here in the three chain spaces straight away that's it i've tied it and now i just have to get a loop from there so i put my crochet hook through and got a loop now I can just go ahead with uh, creating my easel squares. So I'll start with three chain spaces. So wrap the yarn around and pull through. And this is a, your chain spaces. Okay, three chain spaces done. Now I'm just going to crochet three double crochet. So wrap the yarn around, go to that same chain space and pull up a loop. You got three loops in your crochet hook, wrap the yarn around, pull through first two, wrap the yarn around and pull through the last two loops. All right, so I've got, uh, I have to crochet two more double crochet in this space. So that's my second double crochet. And this is my third double crochet. 
Okay. So now it's time to move to the next space. And I still weaving in my uh, loose end while I'm crocheting my stitches. Okay, we start the double, uh, we start the square with three chain spaces followed by three double crochet. So if you have got any question, please let me know in the comment section and let me know how are you getting on. If you want me to repeat any steps also, please let me know, okay? Come to the end of this row just doing a slip stitch to attach my row. so can you see there's only three uh, square in this row and so in the next row we'll only have two squares so I'm just going to turn my work around and start my new row by crocheting this is row 14 I guess by doing slip stitch because I want to move from here to there I don't want to do an increase right so three sleeve stitches in the next three chain space okay and now we can just go ahead and uh, start crocheting our square so i'll start by crocheting three chain spaces one two and three now i'm going to crochet three more double crochet okay so that's one two and three that's three double crochet done now i'm just going to attach it to the next square and crochet one more double cro one more square to finish off this row And just crochet a slip stitch that's it your row is finished and we have come to the very last row now in the next row the next row is the very last row so we are just going to turn our work around and in this row we will only have one square but to start crocheting our squares first we have to move from this corner to that corner right so we are going to create three slip stitch so put your crochet hook through the next chain space and pull through pull through slip stitch now move to the next chain space and do the same slip stitch again move to the next chain space and slip stitch so we have come from this corner to this corner now i'm just uh, getting another loop and start crocheting three chain spaces so wrap the yarn around and pull through that's your first chain space wrap the yarn around and pull through second and third this is your three chain spaces here now i'm just going to go ahead and crochet three more double crochet in this same chain space so wrap the yarn around go to the same chain space pull up a loop wrap the yarn around pull through first two wrap the yarn around pull through last two and just go ahead and repeat these steps for two more time and that's it your square is done and so is your project now you just have to just have to crochet slip stitch to attach the square with your project and that's it and to finish off just do a chain one space wrap the yarn around and pull through to finish off your to secure your project and cut the yarn and that's it your uh, corner to corner project is ready i've just crocheted a small sample size uh, so that um, sample size project and uh, to explain you all these steps and everything because it's not possible um, it's not feasible to uh, do a whole project 
um, within this two hour time slot that we have for our class okay so i hope you all have got it after the end of your uh, just uh, your project just weave in weave in all the loose end that you have because of the color change even if you don't change the color the project will still look nice so uh, you can make uh, like i told you already you can make a, a baby blanket adult size blanket throw um, bed sheet or scarf uh, and all sorts with this uh, corner to corner stitch and it will look very nice the more you add colors the more you add different uh, colored yarn the more uh, it will look vibrant more and more vibrant okay and um, uh, you just uh, uh, do your increases until you want to stop uh, length or width ways and then you just uh, go ahead and um, carry on doing your uh, regular stitches and if you want to make a square shapes then when you are uh, when you stop crush uh, increasing from this side you stop crocheting from the other side as well at the same time okay if you want to make it a square shape but if you want to make a rectangular shape you can yes uh, you can just uh, stop anywhere the, the, from one side and just uh, go ahead and uh, cr keep increasing from the other side um, until you get your desired length okay so i hope you all enjoyed making this uh, uh, project with me and this was our very last uh, crochet lesson I hope uh, you will all have a great time ahead and enjoy crocheting. So don't forget to um, check my channel where I regularly post uh, tutorials for you all. And um, I uh, like I told you in my last lesson that I might uh, uh, do premieres, uh, which would be like short classes. Um, and there I will be present and you can join uh, the premieres um, and you can ask me anything about the tutorial okay in every premiere I will try to show you um, a different project and if not premieres I will still show I will still post regularly different projects in um, tutorials crochet projects and different tutorials in my channel so uh, you can just uh, 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 you can just uh, uh, tell, do the um, notification on. You can uh, and then you, you will be able to get all the updates uh, from my channel, all the latest uh, you want me to. Uh, today's lesson. Take care and thank you for staying with me. Uh, thank you for your time and effort. Thank you, Rima, uh, uh, Rahim Abba. Thank you, Ammu Abu, and all of you. Take care. Allah. Bye for now.